because of stuff like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it, 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 he's got to do what he's got to do, and you got to respect him for it. Yep. yep. You hear that, Dushi? You suck. Yep. We we're just talking about uh, how much you suck over there. Yeah. That yeah. Oh, That's yeah? exactly what we we're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know I got at least one supporter in chat because I am a hashtag get cheesecake man. Oh. I damn straight we are. Okay. Also, Zadute taking that right this week, I believe, too. Yeah, I, like I said, I think a lot of the uh, the Michigan, the top of the Michigan PR is is taking it easy knowing that the Big House is coming up next. Yep, so hopping in, we got Hero versus, um, yeah, let's see, there we go. Banana Peel with uh, Lucy. It's gonna be just put at the beginning. And Hero's still always interesting to watch because not only is he, of course, the new character, but there's just, I think, still so much meta and so much, so many ways you can play him and go about utilizing some of his, um, some of his tools that it feels like it's something different every time. Yeah, that was a really smart roll, by the way, uh, after, to avoid uh, getting all that shield pressure from Sabi. And also just watching how efficient heroes are with their menuing, all play unsafe, and punish jumping on the stage. Speaking of the menu, there's that drama going around Twitter uh, earlier this this week about. Um, how does Hero's menu in English or in whatever language you're playing in affect people of you know who don't speak that language or maybe if you have dyslexia? So um, I remember it was Nairo kind of uh, starting that in that movement. Which Raito actually made a very kind of cool. Ooh, Crackle Slash uh, doesn't mash, so he doesn't hit by that. But um, Raito made a good point. He's like, I didn't study English and it's on me, and I really appreciate that sentiment by our players. Right. And. You know, it becomes to a point, too, where I, I love how supportive and inclusive the Smash community is. That's, that's one of the best things about it. But at the same time, this is a competition. This is something where if you, money. if you want to, there's a lot of money in the line, especially at the, the bigger levels. And if you want to succeed, you will take those extra steps to succeed. If, if you really want to play Hero and you speak German or whatever it is and you want to come to America, you will learn what those that menu looks like in, in English. Yep. Punchy yep. without a lot of ma mana. This he needs to kind of keep this patient game right now and get his hits. Siri. All right, roll behind. Surprised he didn't go for up from there. I don't know if that works on uh, Lucy. Oh, this is Zoom. This is still, yeah, he has so little resources. No shield, no mana. Nothing. Yeah. He just keeps using it as it comes. <laughs> yep. But you do get more mana when you hit me. True. So and I believe you also get mana as you get hit as well. Is that correct? Um, I don't I believe so. No? Okay. Wrong there. Yep. It's time-based and uh, if you hit people. Okay. And it's, I believe it, ooh, it might. That reached far. <laughs> yeah, he extended his foot back. Wait, his hurt back since he went for the get-up attack. Yeah, absolutely. But that was a, uh, a great read by Banana Peel and a great <laughs> safe shot that ended up working out for him. Oh, that grab whiffing point blank. That's pretty awful, but still an advantage. Good punish. Only gets a back throw out of it, though. Could have got more. It's always interesting watching and, like, holding your breath every time you see a hero charge forward smash. Yeah, I, I <laughs> is agree. This it? Right, is I, this it? <laughs> I think the only one else you, uh, is that, that forward smash from hero and then, uh, also, Ganon's, you're like, oh my god, <laughs> what is about to happen? <laughs> yep. At least Ganon's is like, oh, oh, that was great. Yeah, at least Ganon is very telegraphed, so. It's just yeah. again. Living on the, like, by the skin of his teeth. True. Take a prayer for him to make it work here, but he's not out yet. No. He's tried for that snooze about three times. I don't think he's hit one of them. Yeah. It is real fun to hit, though. Oh, it's hilarious <laughs> when you <laughs> hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those moves that's like, this is advantageous for me, but I also know it's okay. so tilt-inducing for you. So oh, yeah. Don't you hit. <laughs> right. And if you get hit, better match. Yep. So. Yeah, definitely a tilting move to get hit by, but it is what it is. Um, a banana Peel taking game one here and discussing, uh, looks like they're having an in-depth conversation about where, where they're, they're going. going. <laughs> Which, uh, for adjustments wise, I feel... The biggest thing was a lack of patience coming out from uh, Punchy. Punchy had a lot of these situations where 
he what he he was playing the 50 50 in neutral but he tapped on just choosing rock that that's a great way to put it uh, but uh hopping in game two switching to snake interesting <laughs> yeah maybe uh trying out here round one try it out maybe this is main back throw nade yeah, maybe it is his main. I don't know, and I, I feel like when it comes to character play styles, I don't think you can be any different from these two. Yeah. And it's, it's either going to work out for you or work out for them. You know, is is Banana Peel going to be able to get in close to you and really uh, break your wall of your zone that you have? If so, you're in trouble. But if you can keep them away and, and zone them out, you're going to have no problem either. So well, let's see how this plays out. And it looks like it's working out for Bunchy so far. Yeah, no, this is working much better. Snake is looking much more polished. Absolutely. Like he has the traps, he has what he wants to do, and he's just ready for it. Oh, okay, those were down action. Ooh, this, oh, should, this might kill. I love shield break. So hype. Yep. So hype. <laughs> oh, why are you shielding on this platform? Nah. <laughs> yeah, don't. What do you think you're doing up there? Oh, hey, buddy. All right, I'll just, oh. Watch out. Up throw, up tilt might still work you, so I might start pushing for it. Yeah, he will turn that one down. Great job to understand that C4 is right on top of you and get the shield there. That's a lot of, you know, that, that's half the battle playing Snake, is just realizing where his traps are going, where he put the C4, and, and understanding how to, how to, how to shield oh. play against looking. Oh, he released a, just a second too early? What just happened there? He uh, air dodged horizontally too much, oh. so he, he didn't grab ledge. So that, that that has to be nerves and a little lack of patience there because there was no pressure on him. It was a yeah. it's just it's a speak. hard angle because he kind of awkwardly came into the ledge. So like, oh gosh, good grab. After after going taking the early first stock, uh, Punchy's finding himself down. Yep, quite a bit here. It's fine. It's Nate. He'll kill it 30 percent. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, push the C sec upwards while they're on top of you. Probably okay. Probably pretty yeah. in a good spot. <laughs> so as long as he can keep this where he is, he's heavy. He can make the wins in neutral. Interesting. Ops to, so something I see a lot of like mid and like low players do. Oh, okay. Just sides for the bumps. But a lot of things that um, mid level players will do is they don't value stage. Oh, that take it. No, I get you, and I think that I was just about to say we haven't seen, I think we saw Nikita come out maybe three times in that match, and that's because he didn't. He never generated a situation. He never generated a situation where